Mario, stop! This is a children's show! Well, actually, I guess I can't really, uh... Can't really confirm that entirely, but, you know, whatever. Uh, hi, I'm Game Guys! It's time for Let's Play Wario Land Shake It! We're gonna start Area 1, the Rattle Ruins! We're gonna go to Stone Carving City. It should be easy for you. I like how the game has, like, this little way of saying, like, Yo, this is the difficulty of this level. It should be easy for you. Like, that text changes, like, you know, for later game levels. But it never feels, like, super accurate sometimes, but hey, I mean, you know how it is. So we see here before we start, there's there's our challenges and there's some treasures and such. Let's just get get a move on. Case is not obvious by this point, each video is just gonna be one level. As with the original LP, but uh, this time I'm not using a dazzle. So at minimum, things should look a whole lot better. Just, you know, putting it out there. Putting it out there. It, honestly, video quality was the main reason for me really wanting to redo this. Not even gonna lie. Because it leaves a lot to be desired. I got a stone coin. It's a coin made out of stone. I don't recall if I can... No, I can't bounce high enough. You're gonna have to forgive me in these first few episodes as I try and remember the exact method to my madness. You'll see a lot that I actually go out of my way to find a nice little alcove to shake these money bags in because otherwise you might end up wasting some coinage and nobody wants that. Not a single person, because if I shake it down there, coins are likely to fly up here on the higher ledge and it's, you know, they won't go past the screen barrier, pretty sure. So, uh, it's generally a pretty safe bet that uh, you'll be able to get all the money if you just kind of do it in a small little tunnel corner like this. Uh, you know, just a friendly little tip. I think this game actually is out on the, um, the Wii U thing. I, I almost want to say Virtual Console, but it's not even, really. Like, it's just available to buy, I guess. I mean, I'm just playing the actual disc, because, you know... I own that thing, but hey, you know, I'm still on the Wii U, I guess, if that matters any. It's just, you know, one of those things. Make sure you shake all of the bags you find if, in your regular life, you know? If you see a bag just hanging out, especially a big bag with a large G on it, definitely shake those, because there's lots of money to be found inside. Everybody loves money. All right, see, here's the problem, because there's no real good place to shake this. See, because you see the coins that get behind me? Like, they're very small amounts of money, but... I mean, when you're trying to get the money mission, it adds up. You know, you want to make sure you get as much as you can. I would like... Okay. That's gonna happen sometimes. It's like, you try to throw it at the, the blocks, and it only breaks, like, one of them, and it's just sadness incarnate, and I hate it. Mr. Watch hates it, too. He should still shut up, though, but I appreciate you agreeing with me for once. Just, you know, putting it out there. It's a nice fancy little pipe here. Wario barely fits in the pipes, and it's hilarious. I got me some full-body goggles. Because, <laughs> you know, that's how you wear goggles nowadays. You just gotta do it. Um... Okay, yeah, I can't... I need to have, like, a third dude if I want to do the bounce on three dudes head thing. Do enemies respawn? They do. Okay. I could not remember, so what I'm gonna need to do... I'm gonna need to carry you gently over this way, my friend. Push that guy a little bit, because Wario just has no care for personal space in the world. There we go. Now I can just casually murder all three of you. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that guy's gonna be in danger! Unfortunate for that guy. Alright. Looks like a good place to shake money is here. As long as there's a ceiling, the stuff won't go flying, like, everywhere, so that's always nice. This block right here, by the way, is a checkpoint block. I forget how to interact with this. Do I punch it? 
Yes, I punch it. Okay, see, it had the exclamation points on it, which implies that you should do the shake thing, but I believe if you do the shake thing, it actually destroys the entire potum, so... Potum? What the heck? No, totem. Jeez, what the heck? What the heck am I talking about? Alright, the last treasure's over there. I'm gonna have to defy physics and rise above. I got me a crystal skull. Um, you know, just in case that's a thing that you're after, you know. That's where you can find a crystal skull. At your local grocery store. That's a diamond! Diamonds are nice, and everybody loves them. So, how the checkpoint works. Checkpoint will always be near this Murphle cage. Uh, so, if you want to restart from the checkpoint after dying, or... Because you actually can just, you know, give up. Uh, giving up at this point would allow me to start from the checkpoint, I believe. Those are the controls. Blocks like these will fill in when you grab the Murphle. Blocks like these will go away when you grab the Murphle. Now that I have explained all of the nuances at play here, let's just get on a going. That's a general thing you do. A lot of escape sections generally have these dasherators here, so get ready for some quick time shenanigan jumps. Because, you know, that's generally what you're going to have to deal with under most circumstances. The escape sequences, especially if you're going for the time limit, require a certain amount of, uh, perfection, I guess, you could say? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it, it's fine. We made it. It was the first real level, so, I mean, that's not surprising, but hey, you know how it goes. Uh, we have enough money right now... If I wanted to go and buy a heart vessel, or not a heart vessel, but, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the other thing, the other thing, you know the other thing, the heart juice, I could buy the heart juice. I might as well, because this video is going to end up very short. <laughs> yeah, recovery potion, also known as heart juice. Uh, the next one I need is at 50,000. I should be able to swing it. I should be able. Yeah, no, see, the price goes up, like, way a lot. Yeah. Uh, you do want to make sure you're collecting money in this game, if only so you can actually unlock the later worlds. You don't even have to do the worlds in order, I'm pretty sure. If you wanted to grind enough money to go to Area 5 first, that's the thing you could do, I guess? <laughs> I don't know why you would, but you could do it. It's a thing that you could do. It is, in fact, a thing that you could do. So, yeah, uh, that was that was the first real level. We did it. It should be easy for you. This one should be easy for me as well. I enjoy it when things are easy, personally. I wanted to go look here, because, like, there's some nice little art on the, um, the media room CDs and such, as I recall. I mean, it's not really art as much as it's just the background of the level, I guess. I don't know. I like Stone Carving City a lot, as far as music goes. It's, it's a good pl it's a good piece. It's a song that they used in uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl for Wario's victory theme. Before this game came out, I think. Which is weird. But, I mean, hey, whatever. Anyway, uh, next time, I'm gonna go to, uh, you know, the next level. Level, uh, two, I guess? It's technically level three, but... Does anyone really even count the tutorial level in anything? I don't think people usually do. Either way, <laughs> that's what we're doing next time. So I'll, s I'll see you later, and goodbye! Stone coin. A coin made of solid rock. Very heavy, but reputable misers report that it is very hard to steal. Full body goggles. Ordinary goggles only protect the eyes. Ordinary goggles are for chumps. Crystal skull. From a crystal man?